Hello everybody, in this Rhino Grasshopper video demo, I would like to show how we can create a solidified 3D model such as the one that's been shown on screen that can be exported for fabrication processes such as 3D printing. Ok, let's start. We will use what we have created from a previous demo for illustration purpose. And if you like to watch that video, you might want to click on the link that is below this video. Okay. Now the first thing I want to do is to make an offset surface from this base surface. And the base surface is actually this, this over here. Okay. To do that, we can use the offset surface command. So we're going to type offset surface and then plug this here. Okay, and I can use a vector component to control the offset distance. So you can go to vector, vector. I guess I can use the unit z because I want to have uh, upward. Uh, offset okay so I can click the unit Z plug this here and maybe put a number slider set the value to 2 to control the offset distance okay okay the next thing we need to do is to create the side surfaces around these areas okay and to do that we will firstly need to extract the edge information which can be done by using the deconstruct b-rep so I'm going to type deconstruct b-rep okay and plug it to the offset surface or rather have the offset surface output plug to the input of the deconstruct b rep okay and the info that we need is actually this the edges okay i'm going to repeat this process for the original base surface so i'm going to maybe i just move this closer okay so what i'm going to do is to copy another of this deconstruct b rep okay i'm going to press the alt key copy this and i'm going to connect this original surface of b rep to this okay and again i will need the edges information okay now to create these surfaces I can use the root surface which can be found under surface freeform root surface okay curve A we can use this for curve B we can use this okay the H output for the origin B rep for curve B and then the H output for the offset surface for curve A. Okay, so we got these surfaces created. Okay, now what I need to do is to solidify this thing here. And to do that, um, we can use the B rep joint. Okay, so I'm going to type B rep joint. Okay and then do the joining okay the joining um, you got to be careful because uh, as with what you will do for the rhino side you have to select the surfaces in sequence in a way that they the, the sequential surface are adjacently uh, aligned in order for the join to be successful okay 
So we have to be very careful when we select the sequence of our surfaces. So I reckon what I want to do is I want to select this offset surface as the main surface and the second set as this root surface and the last one as this so that the sequence is such that at any time there is an adjacent surface that is in, in contact with the, the previous set okay so be very careful with this so I'm going to use this to plug in here as the first surface then the second set is this so I'm going to press and hold the shift key connect to this and then this the face uh, output of the deconstruct B-Rap from the original base surface as the um, last set of or, the, or rather the last surface to be joined okay so I'm going to press hold the shift key connect it here okay so um, let's check to see whether we have a positive result okay so we got this P-Rap joint and I think to do that we can uh, put a volume component okay and maybe a panel to see whether we have a volume or not okay great we got some positive value that means uh, there is volume which means that this joint B-Rap is now a solid okay my final result is going to be a slab like this with lots of openings that are being cut by this set of surfaces okay so I reckon I can use something that is similar to boolean split or boolean difference maybe you know maybe this or this okay and the equivalent for grasshopper with regards to those commands are uh, parked under the intersect under this this uh, set of uh, tools over here so I'm going to use the solid difference okay it's this one here okay so solid difference B right A will be the main object to be cut Okay, so it will be this the period joint. So I can connect this here. Period B will be the cutting objects. Okay, so it will be all this stuff. Okay, the cutting object is um this. Let me just drag this. Okay, this resultant surfaces, which are all this stuff here that they were created uh in the previous demo. Okay, so I'm going to connect this to here. I think it might take a while for the software to do its calculation. Okay, it's done. Okay, now what I'm going to do is um, let's just hide this work in progress stuff and then keep only the final result okay so i could do uh do a with the mouse button click select the disable preview and yeah you can see we have a result okay being generated okay i think i'm going to hide this case you can see so what i'm going to do is um let's just pick this and see whether it's really a solid or not do do a right mouse click, pick, okay, and let's go to analyze, as property, volume, great, we got volume, that means this thing is a solid, hence can be fabricated using methods such as 3D printing and so on and so forth. With that, I come to the end of this demo. Hope that's been useful. See you. Bye.